Hey guys, Blessing here. So from the way this poster was crossed out, you can tell that Reverend Funke Felix Adejumo is in trouble, but this time the trouble is with Mr. Dion Osage, the husband of Winnie Asabo, formerly known as Winnie Osage. Let's quickly touch on that before we move on. When did Winnie actually go back to using her maiden name? Like, are they officially divorced or separated? You guys, what did we miss? You know that whenever a woman drops her husband's name, there is always something major taking place behind closed doors. And that thing is usually not something positive so please if you know what the current situation is drop your comments down below so moving on just three months ago Winifred announced that she had successfully completed a mentorship program by Reverend Adejumo Winnie also posted the certificate she got and that certificate had her estranged husband's name on it but the poster she recently posted of the conference has her father's name on it now fast forward to the present, Winifred promoted this upcoming virtual conference featuring Reverend Adejumo and then yesterday Dion Osage uploaded these crossed out pictures of both his wife and the Reverend together with this very long caption and I read Please oh those who knows one Funke Felix Adejumo relationship marriage tips kindly tell her to stay clear from my family. The damages she has done to my family is enough. I won't take it anymore. I have regularly seen her extorting money from vulnerable people. Most of these people may not even have something to eat while she taxes them heavily with specific amount for them to submit to God. Her tactics is generally known by everyone as she has regularly gone viral on social media due to her bullying style of extorting people of their little savings. The videos are everywhere. It is very irresponsible for any married woman to be so disrespectful to the union of marriage and disguise to be holy, worthy enough to organize international women's conference to mislead and extort other innocent women and girls out there. We must live by the example of what we preach. If Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo is sincere and responsible enough, she should have made efforts to know the husband of the woman she's organizing an international women conference with or better still have an idea of what's happening in her household. For the husband is the head of the household as Christ is the head of the church. For purpose sake, charity begins at home. I am categorically making this statement to serve as a warning to caution Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo. I am equally warning her husband, Mr. Felix Adejumo, act as a responsible husband and caution his wife. I don't know how you as a man would take the nonsense I tolerate, but if you can, good luck. I will not take it. Let this be a constructive warning. Let's all be guided, matured, and civil in our dealings for global peace. Or else. Hmm. And then he put four hashtags. Enough is enough. Hashtag. Say no to irresponsibility. Hashtag. Say no to extortion. And hashtag. Say no to false pastors. Now let's analyze this matter. Firstly, I have to say that I am sorry for whatever Dion Osage and Winifred might be currently experiencing in their marriage because anyone who has ever had marital issues would tell you it's one of the worst challenges any couple could ever go through and I sincerely hope that they find a way to solve it with the help of God. The second thing I want to say is that I kind of understand that Dion took this path it might not be the best way to go about what is happening, but it might be the most effective way to have his voice heard. And I know many people watching this video right now would wonder why Dion didn't take the matter to family members to settle instead of coming on social media to do it this way. You guys, we can't deny the fact that families of both Dion and Winifred are aware of their issues, but unfortunately, they have not succeeded in bringing an end to it. My question to Dion now is, did Dion reach out to the Reverend or the Reverend's husband before putting up this post? Dion's caption was curated in such a way that it is a direct attack on the reverend by calling her names which is why I said before that Dion did not go about it the best way. Dion also blames the reverend for not making enough efforts to know the husband of the woman she's organizing a conference with. And here is where I disagree with Dion because it's going to be totally out of place for Reverend Adejumo to start digging into the private lives of her mentees. If Winifred gave Reverend Adejumo the assuring impression that all is well in her home, you don't expect any sane person to continue poknosing further for no reason. I know that with what Dion did now, if the Reverend was not aware before of the issues that he has with his wife, with this thing that Dion did, she definitely will be aware now. So for me, judging from everything that we've seen in public, because so far we haven't really heard Winifred's side of the story, we've only mostly heard from Dion. So judging solely from what we know from Dion, 
This whole thing looks to me like the case of a woman who is giving more priority to her ministry work over her husband and her family and nothing pisses off a man harder than that. And do you guys also remember the video I recently did with Dion Osage grinding on a girl at the club? Well, in that video, I listed several possible reasons Dion might have put up such an irresponsible video and one of the reasons I mentioned was that Dion might have done it to pepper his wife. With everything that is now unfolding before our eyes, it looks like that might actually be the case. One more thing we need to consider is that this post by Dion Osage calling out Reverend Adejumo might actually be a publicity stunt to create more awareness for the conference. If that should be the case, then that would be a very expensive stunt to put up because you don't tarnish one person's image to promote another person. I personally don't think that this is a stunt. What I see here is a man who is trying frantically hard to call his wife to order, albeit not in the best way because the method Dion used is embarrassing. Not only embarrassing to his wife but also embarrassing to himself and their families and everyone else connected to them. Finally, there is no doubt Dion and his wife love each other so very much. The biggest problem I think they are having is a conflict of personalities. They are two totally different types of people, which sometimes might be a good thing, but most times it puts a couple's compatibility into jeopardy. And like I said before at the beginning of this video, I do feel for both of them and I do hope that they find a way through everything that is happening with the help of God. You guys should give this video a thumbs up if you find it insightful and if you'd like to watch more informative and entertaining videos, do make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red button right there. But if you get to watch this video on Facebook, do not hesitate to like and follow my page and I will catch you on my next one.